Hey guys. All right, guys, we're here on Monday to do a double header as we are on every Monday. And we're starting off with a Patreon request for a band called Forearm. Raise a fist, which makes sense. Forearm, then you raise a fist. And yeah. Then you can do some fisting. Even, I was going to say uppercut, but. Oh, upper. Oh, that, that's an upper. No, but an uppercut, you have to come all the way from here, True. right? If your fist is already here and you're just going like this, is technically you're just fisting at that point, aren't you? Like uppercut, you have to. You have to build it. You up. have to build it up. That's why it's called uppercut, right? Like you come from up, you come from under to upper, and then you cut, right? I, I'm I'm thinking that's where the name comes from. Yeah. So if you're up here, it's a different story. Now, guess where the. By the way, I almost forgot. Uh, the this is a Patreon request from this Patreon right here. Ask us to check out this band. Now, guess where this band is from? Oof. Forearm is the name of the band. Raise a fist, the name of the song. Where are these guys from? America. No. No. You can have another chance. You can have one more. Okay. Finland. No. Shit. They're from the place where the dingoes ate your baby. Oh. Uh, you know where that is? Australia. Australia, mate. I was close enough. How the fuck were you close enough? I mean, you said Finland and the US. None of them is near Australia whatsoever. It would have been closer if you said, like, Andy Gillian? Like, it's not even a country, but that would have been closer because he actually but lives Andy in Gillian Australia. Andy plays in a Finnish band. And he lives in Australia. That's six degrees of separation. This is like Kevin Bacon, six degrees of separation. Anyways, Forearm is from uh, Australia. And because they're down under, that is definitely an uppercut. Because yeah. they're from down under. So if they raise their fist, it's an uppercut. Yeah. All right. See how we went? We went like 360 degrees on that one. All right. So Forearm, raise a fist. Patreon request. Let's check this out.
Oh, somebody put some shrimp on the Barbie, man. Yeah. Seriously, these. Holy shit. This yeah. reminded me of nuclear assault. These guys ate the dingoes, baby. These guys are incredible. That that guitar player is absolutely like destroying that guitar. He was shredding it like unbelievable. And by the way, Chuck Liddell on bass. Yeah. What the hell? I guess in between like Sabaton tours, he goes down under and he plays some bass. By the way, he looked trimmed. He looked much trimmer than 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 when he uh, performs with Sabaton. Maybe it's all that that those vests that he wears, the bulletproof uh, adds a few a few pounds. Sometimes the camera also adds a few pounds. So you never know. Maybe it was the angle. But yeah, it looked man. like he trimmed out a little bit. He worked. It looked like he went on one of those uh, was it was it Bear Grylls uh, workouts, and he, he lost some weight. Anyways, what do you what do you have to say about forearm in a in a, in a fist full of dollars? Just you know, looking at the name of the band, I was expecting around this area of music because sometimes the name of the band kind of gives it off. Yeah, I mean, forearm kind of. Uh, yeah, I would say when I saw Forearm, I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be like some thrash or just like some yeah. or some I'll straight just... up like like heavy metal or thrash." Yeah, that, that's kind of where I was, and it was it was some uh, killer thrash. It was amazing. It was just power right from the start. The song never slowed down it one never single second, down. and the the drummer was destroying the drum. Okay, so to me, the the, the song has three highlights. Three highlights. Uh, I may change my mind as we go along, but for now, let's go with three. One of them is I really like the vocals. I like the, the the style of vocals that he has. It reminded me, like I said, of Nuclear Assault. It re Nuclear Assault, perhaps a little bit more screechy, but it kind of had that reminiscence to me of Nuclear Assault. So I really dig that. I really like that. So I really feel like talk about we've talked about this sometimes where the song has gr like when it starts has great momentum and then the vocalist opens his mouth and absolutely kills the track yeah. because almost like he doesn't match to it the style of the isn't song. It slower. Yeah, or the style is it's kind, kind of, of off. Yeah. Or this is not the case. Perfect. This was like perfect. And, and the tempo of his voice. Matches like, exactly. Exactly. It matches completely with the guitar and the drum. Exactly. So the, not only the, 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 the style of the vocals, but also the tempo in, in which he's singing. He's not slowing down the song. He's just he's, he's at the same. And like the, the two are, are, are neck and neck. It's when, perfect. Also, when he's singing, he's going. He's, he's still, just, yeah, he's still playing. So that to me is one highlight was the vocals. The second one, which you mentioned, the drums. Yeah. That guy was killer. The drums on this track, absolutely killer from beginning to end. So much aggression in the drums, so much violence in the drums. Killer. Then third is the guitar player. It's killer solos. Absolutely shredding. Uh, adding, adding more to the song. Adding, um, and, and you know what? Adding, not only adding more, the solos did not slow down oh. the momentum of the song. If anything, the solos is like stepping on the gas. They even increased the, the, the feel of, of momentum that the song already had. Yeah. Absolutely incredible, this band. I, wow. I, I like this kind of thrash metal. I, like fast, powerful, heavy, with killer drums, amazing guitars. But to me, to me, thrash, always there's always that component, which is the vocals, that's really important. You need, we really need to have a vocalist that helps enhance the momentum that the song has uh, the, and he perfect. does oh i was really concerned first of all when the video started it was live and the sound quality sounded a little bit shitty so it's like oh i hope this is not a but i went to a no a they used the, the studio audio yeah. uh, on top of it so i was like okay once once the song started i was like okay it's not going to be the the crappy little uh live audio so okay this is good then when the song kicks off and i'm like Fuck, this song is absolutely it's monster perfect. I'm like, okay, now I'm worried about the vocals. Is this going to be one of those cases where he comes in and he's like, his tempo of his voice doesn't match the tempo of the song or his voice doesn't match the song at all? I'm like, I hope he doesn't kill it. I hope he doesn't destroy this song. He killed it. He but... killed it, but in a good way. Yeah. In a good way. So he comes on and I was like, yes. I was like, wow, this is, sounds just like nuclear assault. And I was like, yes, this is good. This is a win. Yeah. This is a win for, for those dingoes. All right. On that note, don't go anywhere because there's another video coming. It's, it's only the start. It's only this the... is only the start of the double header. So the bar has been set. You high. know what they say? We, we, we don't raise the bar. We are. Oh, what, what's the line? I think... You gotta put your finger like. Oh, this one. Yeah. it's like we don't raise the bar. We are the bar. We are the bar. Yeah, we don't raise the bar. We are the bar. Yeah. 
kudos to those guys too for always being the bar. All right, or being at the bar. They look like they're at the bar a lot, actually. Yeah. Like those two, they look like they're at the bar a lot. All right, anyways, don't go anywhere. There's another video coming right after. It's not a Patreon request, but it's a request that came to us from somebody else. And anyways, it's, it's, it's a video. Don't go anywhere. There's another video coming right after, all right? Stay tuned. See, See you guys. You.